समय पहले ही अनघा ने टीवी इंडस्ट्री को छोड़ने की घोषणा करके अपने लाखों फैंस का दिल तोड़ दिया था अनघा ने टीवी को छोड़ दिया है और खुद को आध्यात्मिक कर लिया है वह अब कृष्ण की भक्त बन गई है और उन्होंने खुद को भगवान की सेवा में लगा दिया है नमस्कार मित्रों कैसे हैं आप सब तो स्वागत करता हूं आपके अपने चैनल आपकी एक बात में मित्रों सबसे पहले मैं आप सभी का आभार प्रकट करना चाहता हूं कि आप हमारे चैनल को बहुत पसंद कर रहे हैं और विशेष रूप से आपने हमारे पिछले वीडियो जो अंधा भोसले के जीवन पर आधारित था उसको आपका भरपूर समर्थन मिला है इससे उत्साहित होकर हम आपके लिए अंधा भोसले की प्रवचन सभा के वीडियो की एक नई सीरीज लेकर आए हैं तो आइए शुरू करते हैं show it out and they ask why do you put this so the answer should be that should wear it with pride like a woman wears a sindoor to show her husband's presence we should show it for the lord that we are his children and he is our lord we are vaishnavas and it should be worn with a lot of pride feeling and love and affection to the lord so this uh, these are the few points i wanted to sh give that you all can make a difference in this world in this life by just giving these to other people and to make start their spiritual journeys you know so that's it i wanted to share few more points but i wanted to talk about my journey as well and i'm sure why everyone wants to know that how and what and when and there are many questions so after that after i share the journey i would want you to ask if you all can give me some questions and we'll keep it interactive so i was born and raised in pune and earlier i was uh, re related to kunj bihari temple and then nvc later on my father was introduced to his god when i 2008 i was 8 years old 8 to 9 years old and since then i have been a devotee and i you know there used to be bachpan mein to we not used to chant so much but you know going at devotee houses and listening to lectures and we used to draw and color radha rani and krishna and you know that used to be fun but then later on uh, i was there till 12th st standard in pune and then i came to mumbai you know this journey was very simple but in mumbai when i came i don't know what out of nowhere i just joined an acting class i was doing my management studies along with it and i realized you what know, you know i should you know try and my parents were against because they were devotees i don't know what desire i had but i just wanted to just try and give an audition and i auditioned in it's it, getting my first role it was like almost 7 to 8 months it was on off yes no and i auditioned for it there were rounds there were short listing auditions and it was gone and on and on and after that i got my first show which was for star plus and uh, i remember it was good i never wanted to act in films because that's a little out of the box which i my my mom has taught me like not to uh, that's our values which we've been raised but it just happened my first show and then the second show happened where the show got a lot of popularity but then i realized that if it will keep going on and on i can't just focus on my sadhana and when i get time to do my 16 rounds and read geeta and uh, all these things which i i have i used to follow but being there i was there for one year being there i followed my four regulative principles krishna protected me everything was good but still you know you have that thing that you just want to leave and focus on krishna krishna gives you opportunities he gives you a lot of things but you have has you have the free will to choose what you want choose where you get close to him always remember that that if this decision is going to take me away from my lord just avoid it because you have the free will we have the free will that's why we are here on this material planet otherwise where would have been we like we would have been in spiritual world right so we have he doesn't interfere in our free will he has given us the choice to so choose wisely if i would have kept on going after my show i got a bigger opportunity and he wanted me he always is there he tests you in a very he's like you know like curvy he's not straight right 
Krishna is not straight. He is like curvy and he tests you. He gives you opportunities, but if you have that intelligence and he gives you the intelligence to make the right choice also. Pray to him that I give me the intelligence to give and choose correctly so that I get closer to you rather than I get away, you know. And once you start your journeys, it's not going back. It's never you hold his hand, he holds your hand even much more like tighter. Even if you want to leave, he's like, no, there's no going back. You're mine now, you know. And uh, that's how Krishna is. He just wants our love, nothing else, you know. He has given us love since our first births in so many ages and we have not even reciprocated him, we have forgotten him completely, you know. Our responsibility is to just give him love, give this entire birth to Krishna, you know, just give him that. Like Prabhupada says that, just give one birth to Krishna, you know, and it's going to be magical. We are in this material world, we'll have material desires, but not getting attached to it is a very important factor. By Bhakti Yoga, we can just, uh, you know, love Him and keep loving Him. By Karma Yoga, we can do our karmas and not get attached to the fruit of our karmas, you know. That's what is Gita all about and that's the other factor. But still, uh, all He wants us to realize that there is a spiritual journey waiting for you. As soon as we start the journey, it's nothing like it. It's all magical. There will be hardship, of course, your devotee's life is not simple. Every turn and twist, it's like a roller coaster ride of tests and uh, you have to try passing every test, you know. It's not simple. People think that being a devotee, everything comes to you easily, but no, it's like a roller coaster ride. But he gives you that strength to pass it also. So, yes, so I decided not to continue and uh, People ask me why do you want to like preaching or you put videos and you know there was this small uh, incident where uh, I heard in a lecture that how um, if mother and a child is separated on a station or something you would want to help them correct you would want to help that mother get to his her child similarly if if we get so many souls back to our mother Krishna who is giving us the birth, we are his part and parcel who has created us, the entire universe. If we help them get back to Godhead, get back to him, that's magical, that's, that bhakti coins is unmeasurable. Don't do it for the bhakti coins also, just do it for the love of Krishna, just do it for him that he'll feel so happy. You know, mother's happiness is with the child. Nowadays when we grow up, we are all busy with our lives, we are busy with our partners, respective partners, we forget our parents. But do they forget us? Do they don't call us? It's like, if someone is out and there is no phone to my mom, it doesn't happen like that. She keeps calling you, she keeps calling you, eat this, eat this, eat this, eat that. Khaya. But do we do that much to them? No. And that's the same thing with Krishna. He has been so merciful, he has protected you in many situations which you don't know. He, you, he knows you better than you know because he knows your journey since so many births. So just getting you close to him is what I would love and just by being here um, under Srila Prabhupada's shelter, we have already started our journeys and we are already here. Being born in this uh, land, Dev Bhumi, India is a very, very fortune which we get and sitting here just listening in front of uh, Radha Madan Gopal and Radha Rani and Larita Devi, Shaka Mataji. So all this is just our start of the journey and we've already shown the desire to love Krishna and he sees that, he knows our every thought. Just by desiring that, he will push you so hard, you take one step, you'll, he pulls you thousand steps towards him. Correct? So all these things we should understand and I feel unfortunate that some of the people think that is does God as exist? And this is most of the question which is asked and do you believe? What are you doing? Like you're doing this so much and 
does he really exist is he there and i know this one story one prabhu ji was thinking that does god exist he was in to iit and uh, some of the brahmacharis asked him to get flowers from krishna and radharani he was like okay let's go and he went to the flower shop and he was bewildered he was amazed by the amount of flowers were there every flower with every color and every detail the smallest detail and he was like a normal person can't create this you know we don't have the quality to create such an amazing amazing thing and so beautiful and he we've seen so many species with so much detail and so much specific thing on it to survive this life and that cycle everyone has their own special thing to survive and be strong not a normal person can do this of course krishna is there of course he is there he's always been there it's just that we have forgotten him realizing that is spirituality and having this body we will get that realization not another any other species or any other body we don't get an opportunity to understand god so why it is important to be spiritual is that you finish your journeys completely and get connected to god serve him serve your gurus and you know go go back from this unhappy world to the happy world go from this temporary world to the permanent world to temporary relationships to permanent relationships from hatred to love you know from uncertainty to certainty from everything which is negative to positive there is just happiness with krishna there is nothing else there there is no sorrow you are just happy with him so our soul wants happiness our soul wants love so we should be going to that world correct we don't belong here correct and yes so that is spirituality and that's what we realize as human bodies which it's rare to get this human birth after 84 lakh species we've got this body correct after 84 lakh species we've got this body and now suddenly we don't make most of it we don't make use of it krishna has given us this gift we should give him the return gift what return gift we can give to krishna he has everything he is the supreme personality of god it what we can give what he wants is the gift of love and affection okay and we should do that use this body to connect because we don't know if our next birth is going to be of a human birth correct okay, right? and when we are going to get this human birth but krishna is very merciful that if you start your journeys and he will make sure that next birth you get is in a devotee house and you can continue it from very beginning very start and finish the journeys as soon as quickly possible because a mother is always waiting for a child to come home very soon right bachcha subah jata hai kaam ke liye mom is always waiting in the evening when they return back and they come and i can feed them and i can play with them that's how krishna and radharani is and we should take their shelter make this human body uh take advantage of this and connect to god that's why it's very important that you all understand this and um, give it to the next generations give these values and keep it continuing to the next generations because we can devotee i had thought you know if everything is krishna i should also be a uh, brahmachari that thought occurs aapko aaj ka hamara ye video comment karke zarur bataiyega तो मिलता हूँ आपसे अपने नए वीडियो में तब तक इंतजार कीजिए और नए नए वीडियोस की अपडेट पाने के लिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब अवश्य कर लें साथ ही साथ बेल आइकॉन को दबाना ना भूलें नमस्कार